he never expected to be refereeing today. But Corey Arcan and his wife got the call to help out, and they didn't think twice. Now they are refereeing the World Indigenous Games. Oh, this is amazing. Like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a lot of people, and I'm proud to be here. I'm proud that uh, all these First Nations from all over the world are here sharing their talents and sport, bringing us together in a new way, um, making friends all over. Yeah! Subs in! Corey has been refing a long time. He knows good soccer. These games have plenty of it. In all the years I've been refing, uh, some, of this is, some of these games have been the best quality soccer that I've had the opportunity to ref. Uh, it's great watching these young people out here giving it their all um, for pride of their country, for pride of their land. It's hard work when it's nearly 30 degrees outside. You need to be in shape to keep up with the players. Uh, you do, and quite honestly, I'm not. <laughs> I'm hurting right now, but just to see these guys play, it's worth the pain. Shauna still can't believe she is helping with the games. It's like, wow, I'm refing the World Indigenous Games. I come to watch. We grew up in a soccer, soccer family. Uh, where we come from in Saskatchewan, it's nothing but soccer over there. Uh, you can find diamonds in the rough there. Uh, like, it's great. Shauna also happened to pick up second place in the bow and arrow on a lark. Yeah, the first day of competition, we went to go and watch bow and arrow and spear throwing. And um, they were like, all the other team Sask were saying, let's just enter, let's enter. So I said, okay, you know, even the other uh, countries were like, let's enter, let's enter, ladies. Okay, so there's about 40 of us, I believe. And yeah, so I made it to the final round. I shot five. And then all the finalists, there was five of us, and I got beat by one point. Not bad for someone just planning to watch. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Wetaskiwin, Alberta.